Yes. All right. Okay. Welcome back to Curse of Monkey Island. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday, Tuesday, which no, Tuesday. It's it's Monday, which means I'm recording, or it's Thursday, which means you're listening to this on YouTube. Um, <laughs> it could also be Saturday for no good reason. Which could yes. Um, so what we're seeing here is oh look we got Elaine back. Um, you know I saved her and everything's great again. No, um, I went back to the point where we oh first of all uh, we got another subscriber so we're up to forty nine, uh, which means hey, we, we need one more before we get our first reward video which is the Baldur's Gate challenge run it's already recorded it was recorded months and months ago because <laughs> I I don't know I thought maybe I would have 50 subscribers by now but anyways um, I don't know who they are uh, but thank you for joining um, so yes back to the game uh, so I went back and Elaine has just been turned into gold you can see there's no uh, plaque around her feet um, because she's been brushing daily. Because she's been <laughs> brushing daily, right. But we noticed that when we came back after she disappeared, that there was a plaque there. So I thought we'd come back. If you leave the screen and come back, there will be a, a plaque. Um, and we, oop, that's not right. Controls, help, 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 help. Here we go. It's an informative plaque put up by the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Untitled composition in gold and diamond. This newest addition to our public works of art depicts our esteemed Governor Marley in startling, lifelike detail. Hmm. Yeah. I also was checking the audio balance on the vocals there. <laughs> yeah, I could barely hear it. You, yeah, you guys could be just me. Well, that, I mean, it's that's fixable. Oop. I don't want us to be competing with Mr. Brush. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, tell me this, if this is any better here. A little better. Better one, better two, better one, better two. Well, OK. Other one than, <laughs> or two. Other than that, you're going to have to make do because one we've got um, or two. We've got subtitles as well. so. Uh, yes, I'll just lean in closer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also want to load our game. We were here in the Boa Boa shop, and we had just retrieved the scissors. Wow, I bet those could cut through anything. Uh huh. Even a tomato? If we had one. Um, we've secured Edward Van Helgen on our crew because we bested him at the banjo by shooting it. Um, yeah. Cutthroat Bill here seems reticent. Um, he wants us to find some gold, I think. And Haggis wants us to beat him at the caber toss. Right. I want to I want to read this book where the pages keep turning but it never gets further through the book. That's the hair that's the hairstyling book. It's so magical. Coiffures for the discerning pirate. Spring edition. Satisfied? Okay. Let's head on out. <laughs> oh, look at the time. It's the uh, real time. <laughs> uh, oh. So, uh, do you remember... Not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know. You're in that magical land um do you remember what we wanted the scissors for Narnia. <laughs> where it's always winter but never christmas <laughs> yes <there you> go. <laughs> um maybe mr tumnus can tell us what we needed the scissors for no i don't um, remember okay one of you two is gonna have to... <laughs> uh Oh, we're down on the lower right of the screen, right? That's us. That's, that's us. Okay. It'll do. Um, Just a really can scaled we... down version of the the bigger sprite. <laughs> What's under the bridge? There's a door under the bridge that looks interesting. I know. None of these doors go anywhere. Oh. What about that ladder into the water? 
Also, no. Does that lead to secret? Oh. We can wander down here. But this is yeah. literally nothing. Well, why would they build all of that? I don't know. This is such a nice... Like, it looks like there's so many places to go, but there are not. <laughs> so... It's always... Right. It's we... the thing about the uh, the adventure games when you're like, oh, there's so many places to go, I'm going to get so stumped and I'm not going to know what to do. And then you're like, oh, there's five places and I've run out of things to try. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go through the secret door here. I'll just boop. Okay. It's not that secret. Well, it comes here. I would still like to take in a production of Spear. <laughs> well, Slappy Cromwell has not got his act together, if you will. What is the point? Of theater? Not much. Okay. So this... <laughs> wow. I can't ha. get any farther until I clear away this undergrowth. Yeah. Okay, oh. so clear away the undergrowth. Yeah, Should we is... use the scissors to do that? Because they'll cut through anything. Yeah, plus there's an Ip Ipecac flower here. We should take it. Yeah, we're going to clip the Ipecac flower. Snip. <laughs> and then we clip the undergrowth. Fun fact, if you try to clear the undergrowth first, Guybrush will make a... Like, he will clip the flower first and take it, and then he'll clip the rest of it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so you can't miss it. But if you're like me and don't know what Ipecac is or means, you might not know what to do with it. I know what to do with it. So I know what not to do with it. Hey, look, it is that pirate ship. Oh, the one with the pirates? Possibly. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake... Hmm. Oh! Yeah, so what the? <laughs> oh, so this is where we need to use the Ipecac flower, I would assume. Well, first, let's let's read the plaque. Let's see if we can... <laughs> Snake beating club. Yeah, all of these things, I didn't hover over them before, but they all say, like, this just says cereal, and then it's high-fiber cereal. This was sword, and now it's slight snazing machete. <laughs> Jaws of life, snake away, snake beating stick. But, of yeah. course, we can't reach any of them. I can't reach it. Can we get pooped? Can we get pooped? I'm already pooped. <laughs> Well, well, let's use okay. the Ipecac flower on the snake. On the snake head. He's not going for the flower just by itself. Ugh. No. But you're inside it, so can't you just Do we like, rub it on the inside of the <laughs> snake? Just rub it on the inside. Rub it on. Oh, what? Fabergé egg? Yeah, there's this lump of lump inside. No, we should just take that. We should put the flower with something else that we have. Okay, Fabergé egg. Got it. Yeah. Like, oh! Vacuum, vacuum cleaner it. attachments? Oh. Those. Yep, yep. Lots of stuff. Get it. Okay, <laughs> well. All right. Now That's let's three. see all the stuff we got. Here's that Fabergé egg. Vacuum cleaner attachments. We also got old phone books, uh, an encyclopedia, <laughs> top secret plans, stuffed dinghy dog, <laughs> pancake syrup, naturalist remains, spare tire, <laughs> a reservation slip, sausage, eggs, and coffee. Good breakfast. We could make a breakfast and put the Ipecac flower on it. Yeah. Priceless, delicate so. Fabergé egg. Which uh, probably means we have to break it at some it's point. A Oh, we have other eggs that we can feed. <coughs> yeah, we got these. Ones. It's volume C and it's 
mostly digested. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. What a completely random That's handy. trivia. <laughs> if you ever needed to know what a compass was. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. Snakes don't even have snakes. <laughs> it fell into the wrong snake. He's wearing a little shirt that says, I whooped it up at Big Whoop. Oh dear. <sighs> it's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's Chicken. Oh, for the chicken restaurant. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so we need that. It's got a tread that just grips the road and won't let go. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> That'll be handy. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys sure are dedicated. Goodness. Uh, maple. It's a stack of big fluffy pancakes. Uh, thick fatty sausage patties. It's a stack of big fluffy sausages. Two eggs over easy. Stack of big fluffy eggs. It's a big steaming cup of joe. It's a stack of big fluffy coffee. <laughs> So can we combine the syrup with the pancakes and the sausage and the eggs and the coffee to make like a breakfast? The pancakes have already um, been partially digested. The syrup won't help. That's one of the few things that won't taste better with syrup. That's one of the few things. That's one of the few. 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 Oh, things. but they all don't taste better with syrup. <laughs> that's, one of, that's one of the. That's one of the. That's one of the. That's one of. That's one of. Um, Is this what the naturalist was eating? I assume. Uh, it's okay. Never, it's never explained explicitly. Can we put the Ipecac flour, like, on the eggs? Ipecac flour on this egg? I don't know how to mix the flour with that. Okay. These eggs. Oh! <laughs> never that. No. Uh, I don't know how to mix the flour with that. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. What about with the naturalist himself? I don't know how to mix the flour with that. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. <laughs> what do you know how to mix the flour with? Did you try the pancakes? Oh, the pancakes. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. No. Oh. I don't know how to mix the flour with that. It makes Maybe you should just try thinking a bit more creatively. Oh, oh, the last piece of breakfast. Ipecac syrup. Oh, syrup of Ipecac. Okay, that's a joke. Is it a joke? Yes. What's what's the joke? Well, you took pancake syrup and you made a compound called syrup of Ipecac. Right. Which is like a distillation of Ipecac flour, uh, whatever the active compounds are in it. Okay. It's a pun. It is a lame pun. <laughs> so you're telling me that syrup of Ipecac is a real thing? Yes, I am. Okay. See, that... Completely lost on me when I was a kid. Anyway. All right, let's feed the lame pun to the snake. Okay. Um, snake head. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Oh, dear. Whew. That sure was a close one. I thought yeah, this is like better. I that snake that I was done for. Oh, no. <laughs> Was there a chicken? It's a feral chicken. Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. No, oh no! no. <laughs> it's fine. We still have the encyclopedia and the reservation slip. The, things, the only two things we really need. Okay, so what do we, what do we actually have here? We have helium balloons. Helium balloons. Do it. Do it. Do Skelet it. Oh, what? Just. Oh. Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe. What? what? Maybe now! <laughs> it can the that. healing balloons to not sink into into the quicksand? Um. Mm. Is that another plaque? Yeah. Quicksand pits. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trail. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me. I'm sinking. <laughs> that, that's a good <laughs> engraving on a plaque. Yeah. Maybe he was dictating. Discovered by <laughs> <laughs> named after a native word meaning gouch. 
What do you want, kitty? The cat is upset. Possibly by the yep. dog. <laughs> Cats are usually upset. So, I'm going to read this one again. Papa Pichu bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous people, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. It's a thorny plant. As if the quicksand weren't bad enough. Yep. <laughs> if you, if Wait, you touch can you it. go back? Hmm? Can you go back to the inventory? Yes. We have a glove. Yeah, the magic glove that we smacked uh, Van Helgen with. Can okay. we put it on and then use it to grab the thorny plant? Oh. This one isn't my size. Nope. Oh. Well, and what do we have it for? For smacking. Can you, the, can you put the glove on the skeleton arm and grab it with that? I believe Ooh. we tried. I don't think that glove will fit. Mm. Well, how small is this glove? It's only for smacking, I told you. <laughs> What's that gray mass on the bottom left? That's a paperweight. It's a rock, and it's a paperweight. <laughs> Good! Okay. Yeah. Uh, What's the, the silver stick? That's the magic wand. No, 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 in the second row. Oh, that's a pin. It's a pin, okay. It's a voodoo pin. Oh, sorry, a voodoo pin. It is a dedicated pin with a dedicated purpose. And what is the top thing in the top right corner? Top thing in the top right. That's an ember on a stick. It's mm. a glowing ember left over from the battle. It's okay. Still burning. Chewed gum, pack of gum, bag of nickels, pirate literature, scissors. Uh, what happens if we grab the thorny bush? Well, hang on. Oh, I, the... I found another plaque to read. Salvation he goes out. Arborealis deus ex machina. This species of vine is noteworthy yes, for its strength goodness. and its ability to grow anywhere except where it's most needed. Oh. Okay, that's good. Let's reach out to that mm. the skeleton arm. Maybe this chicken can help us. I've got nothing to say. Nope. Skeleton arm for what? Even reach with that. the skeleton arm, I can't reach it. No. Uh, what about the? On that tree root? We need to knock that off. Mm hmm. Do we have a, a projectile? We have a paperweight. Ooh, the paperweight. Okay. Well, my aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had well, a way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. Ah. Uh, oh. uh, everyone do your Fozzie impression if you already know what we're supposed to do <laughs> quit hinting at it and just do it yeah why aren't you doing it yeah <laughs> well the game wants you to think of it i know because I... <laughs> <laughs> but yes we can pick up the plan the... Totally. Incidentally, we ha just passed a um, not technically like a, a a pivot point in the game, but like if you read the if you read the 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 thing that describes the name of the the bush, the Papa Pichu bush. Anytime after this point that Guybrush hurts himself, he will say Papa Pichu. Oh, the no, oh, the chicken. Oh no, the chicken! What the? Oh, all right. I didn't know that mm. happened. <laughs> let's it looks let's stand around talking for a little longer. Well, that's something I never knew. Um, but if you don't read the sign and just grab the bush, he'll say "youch" and he won't say "Papa Pichu" later in oh. the game. So, um, I don't know. It's like a. It's like. There's two different ways to play the game, with and without Papa Pichu's. Oh. Anyways. Um, what about with or without the feral chicken? Uh, well, I mean, we probably don't need him if he sunk into the quicksand. I've never, I've never seen that in my life. Which I guess <laughs> means we are taking longer than I've ever done. <laughs> yep. But you'll okay, notice so we are not sinking. 
No, because we stopped struggling. Right. There's a lesson. Don't stand in quicksand. <laughs> I'll don't try to run in quicksand. Yeah. So he he suggested we need to drop something on this from above. Okay. So well, he, he liked the idea of the rock, but he wants to drop. Just it. throw the rock at something that's in the tree. Is there something in the tree? No. My aim is always off when I'm under stress. I might miss. If only I had some way of dropping the weight on the branch from directly above. Um. Can we? Can we reach up? No, we can't. Uh. Have we discovered everything there is to discover on the screen, I wonder? Not quite. There is the reeds over here that I forgot about. Mm. <laughs> it's a bunch of conveniently placed hollow reeds. Hollow reeds. Okay, can we take one? Yep. Okay. Can we play it? Okay. Uh, could we make a... I think you mean give me some maracas and watch me samba. <laughs> Probably. Or give me some maracas and watch me raka. <laughs> um... <laughs> Come on. It wasn't that good. It really wasn't. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, okay, we need some way of... Okay, this is now a, this is now a pea shooter, right? Can we, can we fire something out of that thing? Like a thorn? World-class pea shooter. Oh! Yeah, just don't inhale. <laughs> but, what, but what would we shoot a thorn at? The uh, stick? The branch? The thing that gonna fall on the, on the I don't know Even if I um, the branch with that, it wouldn't do any good what is what is up there is there something up there we're supposed to knock off or are we supposed to throw something up there no it's or if we toss the if we toss the paperweight up there and then shoot the rock with the <laughs> you oh, it's not that sophisticated of a so, so what we're what he's trying to get us trying to get at is we need to find a way to make the rock hover from above. Hover. Yeah. <sighs> like tie helium balloons to it. Oh boy. It's it's not where we want it to be though. I don't care. <laughs> can we um, blow, blow it? We can blow it. <laughs> I don't care. For once today, Is it going to stop? Good. Okay. Okay, pea shoot it. Oh. Whoa, 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 what the, what the, what the? Well, that's game over. Hey. <laughs> Thank goodness for the unpredictable Caribbean trade wind. Okay, now pea shoot it. Yeah. We did it. Oh, we disappeared. Oh, we just disappeared. <laughs> I should have tried that first. <laughs> okay, here we are at Danger Cove. Finally. I don't know. It doesn't seem that dangerous to me. Look, sharks. Eh. Look, comma, sharks. It's the bay. Canadian apartment store. <laughs> Where the watermelons grow. It's got a huge hole in the bottom. I'd sink. It's got a huge hole in the side too. Pirates have taken a lane. Hey, you guys, come back here. Hey, you guys, come back here. 
<laughs> try, one, try one more time. <laughs> hey, you sharks, come back here. So we uh, we can't take the boat out to to get them, and they're not going to come back to us. I wouldn't either. Uh, shark surfing? No. I'll be cut to ribbons by those sharks if I go in there. No, no, they'll probably eat you in large chunks. <clears throat> the uh, we could mess around out here a little bit, but there, we actually can't do anything here. Mm. But we do have access to Danger Cove, Danger Bay Cove, Danger Danger Cove. <laughs> Danger Bake Off. Danger Bake. Danger Bake Off. Danger Bake Off. Well, I think <laughs> I think that was the uh, that was a famous drummer. Danger Bake Off. Ginger Baker. Anyways, um. <laughs> oh, Ginger Baker. Danger Baker. So <laughs> we made it. We we made it to the cove and back. We found the pirates, but. We can't get out to save Elaine, but we now have some neat stuff. Yeah, let's use the reservation slip to get ourselves some chicken. Yes. Step number one in saving girlfriend is get chicken. <laughs> Do you have a reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation <laughs> slip. Who do you think I am? Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> sort of a fairly classic um, 90s misunderstanding joke there, but it's nice of him not to as not to uh, assume Guybrush would be would use one title versus the other and is just uh, right. using what is obviously on the uh, the card there. Can we sit in one of the chairs? Chair, chair, chair. No. What's through the door? Doorway. All your hopes and dreams. Yep, which means we can't get at him. <laughs> wah, wah. Hideous portrait. The devil chicken. Okay. Well. Do you remember the story of the, the devil chicken? Nope. El Pollo Diablo, the voodoo lady told us about. Oh, yes. Uh, if you don't remember, you can just say it. <laughs> yeah, no, I still don't remember. What's, who's the guy the, or the figure who's sitting down right now? The quiet patron. He's awfully reserved for a pirate. He's awfully reserved for a pirate. Can we talk but to him? Sir? He had a reservation. Just He's awfully reserved. Is he dead? Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah, oh! It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. The undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me checking. Oh. <laughs> What just fell out there? What's that little object? It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> Let's take it. And ask him. Me about Grim Fandango. <laughs> you don't have to put it on. Tell me about Grim Fandango. Anything? <laughs> I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but this guy's lousy at marketing. So, for people who don't know, Grim Fandango is a LucasArts game. It came out after Curse of Monkey Island, uh, where you play as this fellow, Manny Calavera. He's a Grim Reaper. Oh. And there is a is let's play of it on my channel. He's not dead in the game, but he's dead in this game. So what about that other dish on the table that looks like chicken, gross chicken? This is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Whoa, whoa, wow. calm down. Should we take it? Oh, this is no fun. Just eat it with your eyes closed. 
Okay, well, at least take the knife. Yeah. It's a very sharp knife. We can arm ourselves. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> can we order? Well, then we can talk to the man. Excuse me, but... What a lucky pirate are ye! Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> <laughs> gold and nuggets and chicken! Oh. oh. A treasure trove <laughs> on me by pot! <laughs> now, what oh. kindly old Captain Blondbeard bring ye for lunch? The broasted waddle mole? The wishbone oh, sandwich with jerkins? It doesn't even give us the option of ordering chicken at the chicken place? I'll have the uh, roasted waddle mole. We're out of that, I'm afraid. I'm oh, mole. Not a drumstick left. All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? <laughs> <laughs> We're 15 minutes later, yippee hungry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you to join my crew and sail the Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded? Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. Time is itchy as a beach whale in Nantucket. <laughs> What's wrong? There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Thunder Island. A seven foot tall monster he be. And he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the Devil Chicken. The Devil Chicken! The Devil Chicken. He hates me most of all, and his revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild, to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it, but I know he's not true. Chicken to fill it. Ruining me <laughs> business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this, I'll be ready for it. And a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Uh. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger call. Oh, I know. First mate of that ship fancies me chicken, but I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy, <laughs> and I be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secret of lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grand swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his Ooh. boat, you'll be tortured by dog. Okay. <sighs> so, you got any chicken, or...? How long have you been out of chicken? Weeks. Months maybe, and it's not the even loss know. of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You could dine this world over, but you'll never be a <laughs> connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why even now I got me a craving for me palate. Okay, sh poultry. shut up. <laughs> 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 What the teeth? Of it all be happy to dine in enjoyment. <laughs> now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. So he's... He likes crunchy things. Do you have any specials? We're out of potatoes, but we still have some eyes left. No, <laughs> Do you have any other specials? There be a heap and club of lard I keep in the back for special occasions. 
No thanks. <laughs> Do you have any other oh. Have you tried peat moss and tree bark? Many parts be edible, you know. No thanks. <laughs> Do you have any other specials? <laughs> One word for you. Hummus. No thanks. Remember when hummus was a joke, I guess? I guess. Uh, hummus is delicious. That's a great special. Do you have any yeah. special? No more. I don't I don't like it, but I was in the Middle East at the time at, like at the height of it being a joke. Mm -hmm. So I was like what what is funny about this? Yeah, what <laughs> why is this a joke? Yeah. Just a normal cuz it was everywhere there and it was just a normal thing that everybody serves all the time. Yeah. Really weird thing to be a, to have to. Well, uh, it's just food. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi. Shame if you were to lose it. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? Yeah. <laughs> it's one heck of a gold tooth, and blonde beard serves up one heck of a lunchtime value. Nice segue. <laughs> but not right now. You don't. Stop admiring it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? I I love the outdoors, especially the beach. Why I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone. I like to cast my mind back. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? <laughs> I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost my membership card. Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. I was gonna say I like to cast my mind back to the back in the the old days before this conversation started. Um, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. So he's he was going to deliver chicken to the and, Pirates of Danger and, Cove. And yet, in another sense, there's very little going on here. <laughs> <laughs> He misses. Uh, he misses the crunch of his chicken. He has a nice gold tooth, and he lost his membership card. And all of those are important. I'll let you get back to work. Mm. Doing and what? He's not doing anything. He's, yeah. Just jumping around. He's looking in that book. That's not work. I've looked in a book without getting paid before. I've looked at a book while getting paid, though, and it's much better. <laughs> Value me a two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. I don't think we want the slaw. Please to hold the slaw. Brewed the old-fashioned way, the unsanitary way. <laughs> All right. Well. Are we supposed to find a chicken for him and then have him hook it or something and then deliver it to the pirates under the guise of chicken delivery man? I think that sounds like a plan. It sounds like a great plan, but where are we going to find chickens? There's well, one in the quicksand. Chickens. <laughs> There's one in the quicksand. Um, you just stick something in and grab it. It looks like we can... These things are things. I'm just trying to see... Ship in a bottle... I wish that was a real ship that I could use to sail to Blood Island. Uh, thanks for reminding us of the plot. <laughs> Buttery biscuits over here. That looks delicious. Eat it. Oh, maybe. Whoa! This biscuit is full of maggots! <laughs> Ooh. It's a good thing, too, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. Yeah. Why were we so excited about this res reservation slip again? So that we could get in here. Oh, yeah. It looks it looks really good to, to be here. It's a round biscuit cutter. All right. <laughs> it's a pie pan. Yeah, duh. Okay. <laughs> um, 
There is one more thing we can do in here currently that is going to be useful. But it's not eat. No. It does involve things some, something getting eaten, though. Can we take that wishbone above the door? Uh, nope. What's in the barrel in the corner over there? This barrel? Oh, the, those are the biscuits. Okay. Yeah, the gross biscuits, which we still have, and we still have the maggots as well. Oh, good. I'm glad they're separate. <laughs> Do you remember when we had the lice and it was also wriggling around in our inventory? That was a nice touch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yes, it was very lice. We can, we can get rid of the maggots right now and make some progress shall i just okay do do we well all right can we burn them with the ember on a stick and fry them hey that's a great idea yeah i shouldn't waste good maggots <laughs> what the <laughs> i shouldn't waste good maggots well maggots like food yeah that's true too bad he doesn't have any here. Oh, right. We put them... Oh, they're eating away the gross chicken. Yowza. Those and are some efficient maggots. And then they are running back to the barrel. Yeah. So what's left? Brimstone Beach Club. Member since 1632. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to give it back to him? No. <laughs> Are you a pirate or not? <laughs> <laughs> With the Brimstone Beach Club card, what do you think we can do? We can go to the Brimstone Beach Club. Oh, yeah. What a pastoral looking beach. As soon as I remember. Pastoral? Yeah, we were yeah here at the cabana. It, it, this beach leads a church. Brimstone Beach Club. Right. Remember, we talked to this fellow, and he was adamant about us not getting in because we weren't a member. Right. Well, joke's on now, him now. Now we are. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, you filthy little man. My car. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, no. In the name of all things clean, you've got a membership. Yes. And I think I'll just take one of your fluffy clean towels and enjoy a nice relaxing stroll down your beach. No! You mustn't! Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, which, which one do we like? I... <laughs> They're all sort of okay. Number three. Okay. I thought it might be something like that. Now that I think about it, it is nice out on the far end of the beach. You should go there. You should go there now. <laughs> Very well, I will. Be -doop, be -doop, be -doop. We'll come back to bother you later, Cabana Boy. So does anyone remember why we were coming to the... <laughs> the beach no okay we talked to uh the thespian in the theater yes uh and he had had bookings on blood island which we are trying to get to but he said that his agent palado domingo always took care of the bookings and that um we could probably find him here and there's Maybe sharks that's in the him water at the far now. end of the beach? I suppose it could be. <laughs> where, where are you going? With these holes in my shoes, I'll never get across that hot beach. Ugh. Wine, wine, wine. Looking I could use some. Hot sand, baby, this evening. Ooh. So yeah, Guybrush will say, ow, ooh, ee, ya, but sometimes they'll say Papa Pichu. Hot. Ooh. 
<laughs> Anyways, I think you get it. We can't cross just yet. Okay. The good news is the solution is not far. We ride this fellow. <laughs> no. Oh. What? What did he say that in response to? Oh, we push. I said push, Cabana boy. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, Cabana boy. Yes. It's quite hot. Put your towel and mop my brow, would you? Can I have another look at that card of yours? Uh, actually, the towels are right here. I'll just help myself. So we've got the bus cart. We've got ice the bucket. ice bucket. Towels. Let's we wrap see. a towel around each foot. Huh? Try. Talk to towels. Nice fluffy towel. Yeah. Nice fluffy towel. Uh, can we use? I'm already dry. <laughs> oh. Nah. Talk to. This is a nice, dry, fluffy towel. Well, what? I mean, okay. What do you normally oh. do with a towel at the beach? I wrap it around my feet so the sand's not too hot. <laughs> okay. What have you seen other people do at the beach? <laughs> what is this man doing with the towel? <laughs> Wasting it. Yeah, it's not around his foot. Well, I'll show him. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, that was That is a hot beach, all right. <laughs> the colonel's just Googling the answers. <laughs> How do I, I make my friend I stop playing know. Monkey Island games at me? <laughs> let's just take eight or nine of them okay we took three that's as many as we can take oh right because suddenly we can't fit any more in our pockets well he says he has enough i've got enough now well he doesn't so just throwing them down on the beach as is and isn't going to do anything because they burn up immediately so they need to be wet first then Oh, wet towel. The bucket, the ice bucket first. Oh. The towels are all wet now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And so I'm curious about that cooking, cooking oil over there too. Best thing to do with a wet towel. Papa Bichu. <laughs> nice. Now we can steal all this stuff. Yep. Get one of those hot dogs. <laughs> oh, hot dogs. Since, since we couldn't have any chicken. Chicken franks, chock full of processed chicken! Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. Oh, boy. No. It looks like some of those yeah, are older than I am. Deep fryer. Nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy, deep fried food. Yeah. That would hurt. That would hurt. We we'll take the fries, not the fryer. <laughs> Lick deep fryer. He doesn't want to. The fries are not an object. The deep fryer is. Okay. Well, when we come back, we can cook the. It's coconut. Something that we have. Oh, coconut cooking oil. Fancy. Mmm. Faux buttery goodness. Yeah. Well, we've got it. Oh, buttery goodness. Mm, oh, buttery goodness. It's just, oh, stop eating it. <laughs> it's fine. It's faux buttery goodness. <laughs> okay, let's let's try this again. Nice. It's like a red carpet, but for losers. Yeah, for us. Uh, oh. oh man! Well, we're trapped. Anyways, here we are. He's oh, there's a gate here. 
Yeah, we can, we can just go at the gate. We never have to do that again. I'm Guybrush Threewood. Who cares? Very nice to meet you, Mr. Threewood. I am Balido. Balido Domingo. I am so glad you're here. Finally. Someone on this island with some manners. Well, my drink needs refreshing. Take it away and bring me another. Mighty pirate. I'm sorry, babe. I really sincerely am. Perhaps I didn't use the magic word. Take this drink away and bring me another. Now! Can we kick him? It's me again. It's me again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love your work and I respect you as an artist, but now hurry up and get me that drink. Well, look here, you. Go get me that drink. Look here, you get my drink and make it snappy. <laughs> Blanche to bonehead. Well, look here, you get my drink and make it snappy. <laughs> okay. Wow, you're pale. Look, babe, I haven't been sunbathing for very long, so cut me some slack. How long have you been out here? Since September. Your towel hasn't burst into flames yet. <laughs> that line is actually is another thing in the game that depends on your internal clock uh, because it's April here in the real world he'll say something six or seven months before that usually when I'm playing this I like to play this game around Christmas time and he'll usually say since May okay. yeah fun fact can we take his cup um, see you around let's see I mean, just take it and really run away. Want, you really want us to. Yeah, or fill it with sand or something or whatever. Fill it with hot sand. Be in it. Can we oh, be in we... it? Can we put the uh, coconut o cooking oil on him so he, like, burns up? <laughs> Someone is... Mmm, pork. Interesting thought, though. He looked like he was going for it. Like there was an animation <laughs> for it and everything. Anyway. <laughs> I've seen correctional fluid with better color than you. <laughs> yeah, babe. I'm not the tannest cat around. But, as you can see, I'm working on it. You look like you've lived under a rock your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but soon I'll be a bronze guy. You've got a savage pail. Please, babe. Before I leave, become very self-conscious. Hey, I can see my reflection in your chest. Thank you for your keen insight, my friend. Why don't you go do something useful now? Like inhale a puffer fish. Okay, babe? <laughs> You're so pale you make snow look tan. Be quiet now. If I bleach chalk, it wouldn't be as pale as you. All right. <laughs> All right. Yes. I'm very pale. Thank you. There. You've hurt me deeply. Oh, thank you. you know I mean. you <laughs> You're happy? welcome. Huh? Babe, are you happy? Are you happy now? Yes. I hate you. <laughs> Give me a drink. Would you like to join my crew? <laughs> After all that, can you can, can you hang out with me? The... You're a project you're on a computer game? <laughs> oh, <laughs> major stars. We're talking major stars. Who's major stars? I'm looking for Blood Island. Do you know where it is? Nope. Never heard of it. That's funny. Slappy Cromwell told me you booked all his shows there. Cromwell? I should have known. If I booked that guy in a dinghy, there'd be empty seats. So you do know how to get to Blood Island? Yeah, yeah. They had a really nice room there, too. The Good Soup Plantation Resort Hotel and Casino. It was the place to go before they moved the shipping lanes. I used to book so many gigs there, I had the map tattooed on my back. On your back? All those little mm. sticky notes just kept getting lost. Oh. So, why did you lie and say you didn't know how to get to Blood Island? I, I, I just don't want to say. What? It's your face, babe. 
there. I said it, babe. I hope you can forgive me. I just gotta be honest. I just didn't think you were the right type for Blood Island. That's not some place I picture your career going right now. Let me get you a booking somewhere that's in your league. I can gig you at this little shoe factory in Hoboken. It's Blood Island or nothing. That's the way it's gotta be, babe. And that's the way it's gotta be. But you're gonna have to find new representation, okay? Can I see your map to Blood Island? You can see it when I roll over to tan my back. When will that be? Could be a long time, babe. A very, very long time. Six months. See you around. <sighs> well, you definitely gotta cook his front so that he turns over. Yeah. We have, we have an ember on a stick. <laughs> we, do, we do have an ember on a stick. I think he'd like that. Um, so do we have... Yeah. Biscuit cutter. We'll remove his skin. I don't think <laughs> With a biscuit cutter. <laughs> Can, why don't we go and fetch him a drink, but make it, like, super... strong, or... Super alcoholic, so he passes out or something. Or just super untasty, so he doesn't like us. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I mean, we've got that covered already. There we go. <laughs> Did it just fall down? It, it, it looked like it. it two frame animated away, so it's really unclear which way it went. So now we can come right back to the... Uh, can we go to the cabana? Yeah, we can go back to the cabana as well. So how do we get a drink from here? Well, we dip the mug in the oil. <laughs> or in the, in the water, in the ice bucket. Oh, he just water? Oh, that's what it's for. <laughs> he does not want to. Do we have a magnifying glass? Uh, we can focus the sun's rays on the guy. No, no. Ooh. That's a very similar mug that's there in front of the small pirate. Hello. It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. When we were here before, he wasn't open. So now he's open. Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. I think the voice actor for this fellow is Gary Coleman. Oh. Like the what you talking about, Willis Gary Coleman. The the dearly departed <laughs> Sir Gary Coleman. <laughs> uh, let's ask if the lemonade is good. Yeah. Is the lemonade good? Oh gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. Ooh, that is good. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, <laughs> And death. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No, but it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. I do. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really good. Give me my money back. I am sorry. I did 
tell you about our bottomless mug policy, and there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. Okay, let's come again. We have our own mug and another five cents. Is this the old, just the old switcheroo? Yeah. Look, a three-headed monkey. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Gee, really, the <laughs> the three-headed monkey gambit never fails. Hey, just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. I don't know why Guybrush is looking at us. How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. I want my money back. Why? Was the lemonade bad? I don't know. I didn't drink any. Well, if you're not dissatisfied with our product, I can't justify giving you a refund. I'm sorry, oh. but it's company policy. But it's company yeah. policy. Well, okay, buy another one. Give me more. Give me some more lemonade, you little chiseler. That'll be a nickel. I don't know why we're upset. We got the bag of wooden nickels for free as well. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was as refreshing as morning dew. Hey! How did you drink all the lemonade? You switched mugs on me, you cheap. I hope you're happy. You put a budding yep. young entrepreneur out of business. Well, well now we can mean. take the whole jug. Yeah. Should we take the lemonade? It's an empty pitcher. Mm -hmm. It's empty. Oh, it's empty. Oh. But we can still take it. We poured most of it under the counter. I switched this mug for the bottomless one. Can we take that one back? I don't need it anymore. We don't need that one because we have the bottomless one. It's a mug with a hole in the bottom. What? Not, that's not more helpful. So we have a mug with a hole in the bottom and a pitcher, but nothing to decant. Wait, wasn't that there's like some red dye over there? Yeah. It's a great big Let's get some, and then put ice water in the pitcher. Tell him it's wine. Oh. It's full of red oh. Dye. We can dye the guy's skin red, so he mm. thinks he's tanned and will turn over by giving him the bottomless mug and pouring the red dye through it. <laughs> Whoa! Will this work? Well, let's see. We give him the mug. Why we can't talk to him from the other side? And a pitcher with. Let me just pitch for you. Here's your drink, sir. <laughs> wow. Look, Palido, you're burning. Ah, all those <laughs> in the sun and my can is just gonna feel all away. those buds. I better turn over. <laughs> Good idea. Bloop. That's the most uncomfortable position. <laughs> yeah, Face directly down in the mat, in the sand. Also, his feet are pointed the same direction. Far too complex. <laughs> so we can't memorize this. I'll never memorize no. That map. It's far too Take complex. a photo. I can't just rip the map off his back. Oh, that's no good. Uh, Why not? We have a serrated knife. <laughs> it's really dark. <laughs> well, there was something we tried earlier that we weren't allowed to do. Can we do a rubbing? We have cooking oil? Paper or... We can do a rubbing with cooking oil. <laughs> and what? Oh, and it'll peel off? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's gross. I don't like this game. <laughs> well, look away. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> I really wish I didn't have to do that. Well, we've got ourselves there a map. There are some moments when I'm really... There are some moments when I'm really glad the animation isn't better than it is. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's cartoonish, but it's still, <laughs> it's a gross concept. Horrifying, yes. Good news uh, is, we are one third of the way to getting to Blood Island because we needed the map, which we now have. We need the ship, and we're halfway, roughly, to our crew. Yeah. It's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. Yay. Okay. Um, Here we go. So for the crew. Cutscene. Oh. Well, there's a chicken. Got a chicken. There's floating uh -huh. rocks. Look at all this stuff, mate. Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose for all this loot. Wait a minute. There's something else. It's, uh, it's some kind of footwear. Hey, those are <laughs> nice boots. Oh, put him with the food. Oh. So in case you forgot, LeChuck, <laughs> the primary oh, yeah, villain of the series, um, we, <laughs> we killed him at the beginning by blowing him up with the voodoo cannonball or whatever. Um... And then, so those guys were scrounging the detritus from the battle, including LeChuck's boots. And then something sinister happened, and whoa. <laughs> anyway, someone was going to say something about the crew. Mm. Yeah, I was just thinking, what did we have to do to secure the rest of the crew? Well, we already have um, Eddie. V <laughs> I can wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, we already have Eddie Van Helgen on our side. Yes. And these two fellows seemed. Um, open to the idea if we can best them at caber tossing slash bring them some gold I think was this guy's problem are you sure you don't want to join my crew you still haven't proven you can find anything of value come back when you have some real treasure to show so we have to show him something that's like treasure Treasure. We can also ask them how they got into hairstyling and what their pirate stories are. Say, hey, uh, what you eating there? Jawbreaker. Is it good? Yep. You don't say much. <laughs> nope. That's a really good jawbreaker there, huh? Yep. Well, that's just terrific, isn't it? How many layers? Boy, I sure could go for a jawbreaker right about now. Yep. Oh, punch him in the face. I said I sure could go for punch him in the face. I hope you find one. What? You gonna finish that jawbreaker? Sure am. Okay, just checking. Nothing I love more than a good jawbreaker. Oh, dear. Yeah, see? When you look at it that way, we're really not all that different, you and I. Whatever. Could I have your jawbreaker? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Uh, and then the other one is the caber toss. Yeah. And we can challenge him to the caber toss. We're just. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? It, as I told you, Guybrush. We're just not very you good at it. You can best me in the caber toss. Toss this. Sounds great. Let's do it. <laughs> um. This doesn't seem like it's going to go well. No, just for refresher's sake. Nice. You'll have to throw further if you want me to join you. Be fair, we did get it to land in the right direction. It's a good start. What have we got that will help us lift things? Spirit! We've got a mech suit? No, skeleton arm, that's what it is. 
<laughs> Close. What happens if we tie helium balloon to the caber? Not well, much. Luckily, we can go up to the to the field here. So I think this pile is the pile he throws from. They made from palm trees. And this pile is the pile that hey, we throw tough from. To toss. So let's tie a balloon. Well, I can't use a balloon with that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Um. Can we, we hollow one out? Did we read these? We read. These. No. Today. Caribbean rubber tree. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. Sumatran rubber tree. Donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities. All right, so if we're going to chop one down and use it instead of a palm log we should do we should chop down the more common one and not the only one in existence one well, this knife might cut through regular wood but not a rubber tree hmm hmm so we should cut <laughs> down our own lighter tree but not with a serrated knife this knife might cut through regular wood, but not a rubber tree. I mean, even if we did cut down another tree, we've proven we can't haul a tree around. What? Well, you can't move these guys. Oh, but... Pardon me. If... If we use a rubber tree... The wood will be much lighter, and it'll probably bounce. Right. Because it's it's a game. Right. Yeah. Agreed. So if we just if we were just to cut that down and put a put a log of that on top of our pile. Yep. And throw that one. I'm with you. We'd probably win. I just don't know how to cut three down. Well, well, we have scissors that apparently will cut through anything. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not quite anything. There are other ways to cut things down that that aren't. Sorry, there's other ways to remove trees besides cutting them down. Burn them. It's almost, it's almost, the time we're gonna hear this go off. Just, yeah, just for so <laughs> in interest sake, let's burn the tree down. What the? Oh. What do you want to singe it with? Ember. We have to get a different ember. Um, have you? Oh. Have either of you ever had to remove a tree stump on a farm? Uh, and before you, you and before you ask, no, I haven't either. <laughs> but I've seen. Do we have a shovel to dig it up? Um, shovel was the last game, not in this game. Sure don't. We have a biscuit. I do have a biscuit. Do we have a chainsaw or a beaver or <laughs> or a mechanized beaver or <laughs> a mecha beaver? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm very, I'm very anxious for this. Can we just climb the tree? Maybe it'll just bend over and. Um, what else do we have? Can you go back to the inventory? Uh, oh, there it goes. Can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. What was that barrel again? Sorry, I'm just listening to the chimes. <laughs> It will actually chime nine times. It's really cool. Or at least I thought it was really cool when I was a kid. <laughs> keg of rum. It's an enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. Gut blast. 
Oh, gut blast. Feed that to the tree. Supporting the keg of rum. It's a wooden sawhorse supporting that keg of rum. Can we take the keg off the sawhorse? I bet we can. This is what you meant, right? Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh no. What has gone on? Do we now set the rum alight? Oh, ants. Oh, the ants were crawling all over it before, though. There are other ants crawling all over it. Yeah. So we can't even examine the, uh, the keg anymore. We gotta go back up here. Can we use the ember to set alight the trail of rum? It's an enormous keg of old gut blast brand rum. Well, it is. Yeah, can we just blow the tree rum. out? Yeah. Are we supposed I... to encourage the ants to eat through the tree? No, we had it. I say we. The colonel had it. Okay. Why does he keep jumping off a cliff? <laughs> wah, wah. It's fun. Whoa, my head is spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. You gotta lay off the cliff diving. So, as you may have guessed, the rubber tree that we destroyed is the singular one. Yeah, of course it is. Sumatran rubber tree. Donated to Puerto 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 <laughs> sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere and stands as an everlasting symbol of the friendship between our two cities. Well, everlasting oh, is relative. So, can we now lift the rubber tree? We can try. Yeah, it's perfect right where it is. Perfect right where it is. I mean, we have the solution, I think. We can just... Just do the thing. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? Because I told you, Guybrush. Not until you can best me in the caber toss. Sounds great. Let's do it. Toss this. I say it every time because it entertains me. But... <laughs> hey, I win. By the spiraling hoof on to be great Uncle McManus. Never before have <laughs> I seen such strength. Sure, I'll join your crew. I'll wait at the shop until you're ready to leave. Mm. I'll need one more sailor right. for my crew. Well, we got one. one. We got the other. And one. So we need a treasure. Sucking on some candy. Yeah, does anyone recall seeing any treasure on the island? Any gems or precious metals or anything? Uh, well, there was that statue. That's missing, though. Oh, yeah. Um, that was the only thing that leaps to mind. There was uh, one other thing that we had been admiring earlier this session. Oh, what's his name's gold tooth? Uh huh. Now, how the chicken could... restaurant, the chicken yeah. restaurant without any chicken. How could we extract a man's gold tooth? Have we got a club or pliers? Well, he said he was looking for something. Like he was, he had a hankering. Something well, like... he can just get over it. Something let's like let's go back and talk to him. Okay, let's go back and talk to him. He had a hankering for crunchy chicken. Uh, excuse me. What do you miss most about your chicken? The crunch. It's the crunch I be missing most.
Can we what? get him some crunch without going to the, all the trouble of getting a whole chicken? Are you gonna deliver your chicken? Oh shoot. To the pirates of Danger Cove. Oh, that's that's nice. Can we get him? Some... Yeah, ask him the gold tooth question. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? I you did. <laughs> okay. I'll let you get back to work. So he wants something to, like, something to crunch or crack in his teeth. Um, like a coconut? Well, do you normally chew on a coconut? Mm, yeah. Oh, really. no, I guess not. Can we fill one of those biscuits with buckshot or something? I mean, if you happen across some buckshot, let me know. <laughs> there, w there was another fellow <laughs> who, <laughs> who had... lived in a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> there was... the re okay, this is the puzzle. <laughs> this is the one puzzle in the entirety of the Monkey Island series that I was not able to solve on my own. My brother had to tell me how to do this. So okay, congrats, um, okay. congrats so to him. What chance do we have? <laughs> well, that's that's why I'm trying to lead you through it. This one. This okay. One okay. Does, does it have something to do with the deep fryer? No. Okay. So you don't make something crunchy by deep frying it. No. There is someone who is enjoying something crunchy currently. Is it me? I was just about to say, is it me? <laughs> <laughs> I got, I've got some peanuts here. No. Oh, the jawbreaker. Oh, right. The jawbreaker. And this was the part I couldn't solve. Figuring out how to get the jawbreaker off of this guy. Again, a club would be useful. Yeah. You, now, you did say we could just punch him. So I'm going to count that. Try. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. <laughs> well, we bonded. Yay. Oh, I'm looking. Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Bye. <laughs> He'll be doing this forever. But we can, yeah, we can. Not gonna want that now that he almost died. Oh, it was nothing really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. In my experience, the most unsolvable puzzle. From now on. Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Three Foot Maneuver. Aww. Anyway, it's not even known as the Heimlich maneuver anymore. I changed my name to Guybrush Heimlich. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Oh, hey, it's a you huge this, it's jawbreaker. Really good. It's only got a little bit of spit and hair. Hey, rake your job on this. Turn around. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like this Thanks, T. All right, now punch him in the face. Now, I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier food stuff. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Ugh. <laughs> so this whole game is just about satisfying the gustatory urges, <clears throat> excuse me, of this old fellow. Is he pregnant? So now we have to get him something chewy so he... <laughs> Not gestatory. <laughs> um... Yeah, we gotta give him something chewy. Luckily, something he's something fleshy. Right there. We've got some gum. 
If it's not chewy enough, we can add paste to it. I suppose. Mm, this is really good steak flavored gum. It gets you steak here. flavored. It gets you right here. Oh, the tooth. Oh, that's nice. gross. <laughs> Where's our pin? Yep, pin. Where's our knife? Ew. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> no, no way that came off that easily. You played on old cap and blonde beer. And there it is. It's a gold tooth. Don't say it out loud. All right, well. That's, Goodness. That's that. Yes. To a restaurant that has chicken. <laughs> uh, no. Then what do you call that then? Oh, that. I thought it was a rock in my shoe. I was gonna take it outside. Sure you was. Give it back. Oh. <sighs> so there's a second part of this puzzle. But don't worry, we can do the first part as many times as we need to. Thanks. <laughs> Pop me bubble, did you? You caught me again. <laughs> you never learn. Okay. So. We have to get this gold tooth outside without walking outside with it. Can we throw it outside? I ain't seen me throw it. What was that? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? We have these things and these things <laughs> helium balloon oh what can we do with the helium balloon put it in a longbow tail it's sober i can't use a balloon with um that. oh yes you can tie it on there throw it out the window then throw the pin at it once you get outside you are on the right track Yeah, this train's a chugging. Wrap it in the skin map. Oh, ah. that is awful. Ah. Yeah, there's a lot of body parts in our inventory. I don't like it. I mean, if that's how you do it, then that's how you go. Can you pea shoot it out the window? Um, We'd have to get it to float out there first. Oh, you mean put this in the pea shooter? Yeah. This gold tooth won't do any good there. Apparently not. Probably not. not. I never, th I don't, never think I thought of that. Um. So we hide it inside the encyclopedia. Okay. Under C is for tooth. tooth. This gold tooth won't uh, do any good. There. Under C. <laughs> C for incisor. Um, <laughs> C for cutscene. Oh, how about how about the the already chewed gum. You want to put that in the book? No, I want to put the already chewed gum, the tooth in the already chewed gum. The gold tooth is in the gum. Okay. It's a gold tooth and some gum. So it doesn't quite cover it, but it let us do it. Can we just put it in our own mouth now? Yeah, go, run, run. <laughs> uh... I'll tell you, he'll any if the if the tooth is in our inventory at all, he'll find it. But we are actually really close. There's one more thing. Can we you need. can you blow it into a bubble and then float that out the window? How do you float something out the window? 
Can you attach the helium but balloon to the gum? I can't use a balloon with that. We are hmm. much closer, though. He has really no idea how to use a balloon. <laughs> Uh, so we do when we do the oh inhale inhale yeah. the helium balloon <laughs> yes oh uh. did you talk yeah and then Oh, okay. quick! Run after it! That seems cool. reckless. Alright, everyone. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Wait one second. What? Do you have me go to. Uh, no? Let me see. You don't have it. Darn. I'll have to order a new one. So if. we did hear like it went, it popped, and then there was like a rattling sound. Oh, is it in the crow's nest up there? Uh. It's an old crow's nest converted into a sign for the chicken shop. Nope. <laughs> did it go in that drain pipe, and then in the mud? It's part of the complex drainage system for Blondebeard's chicken shop. It's as thick as gravy. How would we find out? I put our hand in it. Touch the mud puddle. And I won't be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hands. Why not? Aww. What else is in it? Mud. Mud is gross. Not like a tooth or an arm. Oh god. <laughs> or a skin map. <laughs> or a skin map. Um, <laughs> can we use the pie plate to like, like dig around in it? Like pan for gold or? Yes. Uh, wow. Hey, it's the gold tooth. All right. Yay. <laughs> we got it, and it's clean. Um, of course it is. We can actually always inhale the helium balloon. Oh yeah, it expands mm. again as soon as we stop. And then anytime you. <laughs> Oh, he speaks faster to you. Yeah, they just sped up. Bit old jerky bubble gum. <laughs> wow, I bet those could cut through anything. And like they, they it lowers and lowers. Maggoty. Until it's normal. It's a very it's sharp cool. knife. It's a hollow reed. Wow, it's actually taken a while. It's a reservation slip for blonde beard. There we chicken. go. Back to normal. That was anyway. pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. okay. One point for you, game. All right, here we go. Let's take the gold tooth and put it in this man's mouth. This <laughs> out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. Oh, come on. Like you well, weren't. Like you weren't the last one that we could recruit. Well, all right. Well, I'll see you, boys. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh oh. Quiet. <laughs> yeah. Comes Captain LeChuck. Look who's back. Back again. <laughs> Skulls blink. Wait. Oh, he's no, he's no spear. So this set of pirates is not the same set of pirates that's in Danger Cove. 
Well, we don't know anything about the pirates in Danger Cove. Right. But we've been following this alternate storyline in cutscenes. True. True, true, true. I mean, I suppose we could go check on the pirates in Danger Cove. Yeah. Um, interesting note while we watch Guybrush walk all the way across the screen here. In the first game, he was the ghost pirate LeChuck. In the second game, he was the zombie pirate LeChuck. Now, he's the demon pirate LeChuck. Nice. So he's always got a different sort of form. Um... Okay, and they're still here. They're not going to Monkey Island. Well, I mean, not yet. They're not. Hey, you guys, come back here. <laughs> I mean, it would be LeChuck's deal to steal Elaine, but the pirate stole Elaine before LeChuck was brought back, so it's hard to say. It's easy to say. It's just hard to know you're right. Not completely. Look, this has a hole. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. Nope. Sure can't. Well, if that's the right size, then so is... Uh... Anything we cut with it. Oh, a biscuit! Very much. <laughs> the biscuit. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. Hmm. I can't help but feel that this might actually be above the waterline. <laughs> yeah, it said it was in the bottom, but it's not. It's near the top of the side. Unless there's another one in the bottom. Uh, yeah. No. We need a, a bung. A what? A bung. A plug. Oh. We gotta bung it up. Uh, what do we make plugs out of? Penguins. <laughs> I don't well, even get corks, that. but we don't have gaping corks. Of corks, we do. Of corks, we do. Cork. Of cork. Rubber. But we destroyed the only Sumatran rubber tree in... Oh, right, there's other rubber trees. Also, there's quite a bit left of the first one. Can we just make a cookie out of the stump of that first one? Nope. Oh, right. It's gotta be the <laughs> other one. <laughs> My goodness. It's a large rubber plug. Uh, the destruction we've wrought. Okay, here we go. Another fun fact about Monkey Island. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <clears throat> all right, all right. We shall just put the plug in the hole, and then we will calmly talk to the pirates of Danger Cove. Wow, for a homemade rubber plug, that worked very nicely. It won't stay in there. Okay, uh, well, paste. dumb it in. Paste, paste, paste. paste. Yeah, paste. We're good. The plug is all pasty now. We're all pasty. <laughs> and so am I. <laughs> what, you couldn't, you couldn't step over the other side of it? So we can sail this little boat in a sailing section, but we can only land at the beach and the pirate ship, and this is actually the only time in the game we actually we get to do this, and I don't know why it's in here. <laughs> oh, there's no, like, <laughs> obstacle course, or... No, there's no obstacle course. We can't, like, go off screen. There's no other locations to sail to. The sharks have, the sharks have even disappeared. We can't even try to avoid them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Like if they come, if they came after you, I would, I could see, you know, 
trying to go around to get around them or whatever. There they are. Either it's a time honored form of pirate torture or just a loose board. Let's climb up. It's not a torture, it's an execution. Up we go, I guess. I'm gonna walk the plank the wrong way. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> okay. The fourth one. Okay, these all seem confrontational, except for this one. Yeah. Uh, and some guybrush people reporting for duty, sir. Huh? Hmm. You don't look like a member of my crew. Honest, I'm the new guy. I haven't heard of any new recruits. I'll have to check that out with my captain. Your captain? Yes. Come aboard the sea cucumber. I'm Mr. Bossy Pan, the first mate. And my captain is the scourge of the seven seas. This doesn't sound promising. <laughs> Another scourge of the seven seas. Yes, captain. It's on the table, sir. Let's Let's go. That's right. Captain Lech. Yes, Captain, captain Lech. Well, he's getting interrupted every time he tries to tell us his name, so it's probably LeChuck. Yeah. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Well, we've got a boat under the plank. <laughs> feathered sounds good. Any tortures not involving pain, humiliation, or stickiness? Any tortures not involving... Just feathered. <laughs> feathered sounds good. We'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. What do you say? Oh, what? Can we make him walk the plank? There was the throwaway line about the pirates that stole the statue walking on their hands. Uh, huh? Okay. And look both ways before. Oh. There was no splash. Splash. Uh. <laughs> nice. I like that. Yeah, all right, back we go. Okay. <laughs> look, tar. Bucket of tar. A big old sloppy bucket of tar. Dip it. <laughs> oh, oh, they caught us. <laughs> Nope. I'm already sorry I did. All right, in you go. Um, okay, in so we have to... Kill that guy. So... Wait, there's a... What's that on the sill up there? On the sill, that's a... It's probably a banana um, peel. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find another way in. Um, can we ride the shark? It's my trusty rowboat. Have we got anything else in the inventory that can help us? Maybe we do have something in the inventory that we need to use here, but it's sort of unclear as to why. Um because it's it's hard to know what our end goal is um that's sure. yeah we, we we want the ship right well yes we want the ship what i mean is the end goal of our direct actions here um right <laughs> because <laughs> so the mid goal yeah every time we get on there they're going to kick us off using the um the plank but they said that the two things they could do to us were tar and feather us or make us walk the plank Right. But they prefer not to use the tar and the feathers. Right. So it it's uncertain why, but we want them to tar and feather us. Hmm. 
So in order to uh, do that, <laughs> we didn't we didn't have any options to just say that was our choice. No, we could go with how about feathered? Feathered sounds nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really read all of them. Um, uh, so we need to. Make... Unfortunately, we're stuck in a situation where plank's constant. Yeah. Wow. Or is it? Maybe plank is variable. <sighs> is it... can or we? Maybe we have a bit of time before they discover us, right? We. I think we have like one action or something. I don't know. Can we jump into the tarp? Okay. I'll try eating it. Not even I could handle a gut full of tar. Uh. Mm. <laughs> I wonder who's in there. Oh, they are all banana peels. We go to the right. Uh, no. <laughs> There's an invisible force field there. Yep. Like, There's... what happens if we if we go like click the hand on the tar bucket? That's when they came out and caught us last time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We need some. We need to do something else before we. We need to have something in our hand to scoop out tar with. Nope. We, we need to light the tar. Nope. We need to make the we need to make walking the plank an inviable option. Oh, do we need to like so cut the plank off? Just saw it off. Yeah. With the knife, the yeah. bread knife. Yeah. Why are we doing this? I don't know, but we are. Not from down here. Oh, all right. Well, can we take that plank and? Oh. Maybe we can. It's the remnants of the ship's plank. <laughs> I don't need the plank. That's why we took it off. You in the could first use place. it to bash a shark in the head. <laughs> Or a, yep. or a monkey, frankly. Okay, let's see. Well, we have... Maybe we can capture some some tar in this. Let's just see. This pipe hand won't do any good there. Yeah. Sure, well. Maybe this. That doesn't need dying. No. That doesn't need dying. <laughs> Dipping biscuit in that it. Seems like a waste of a do we have... Do we have matches? Oh, we have it. Oh, we don't even have that ember anymore. No, it's gone. We lit something with it, so it's Im it's immediately not useful anymore. We can also yes. open the door, but that also just gets us caught. Who's there? Then why would we do that? Oh, right, because then the plank's gone. Whoa. Yeah, he grabs him by the whole head. <laughs> so what do I do now? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? I guess so, but no more than usual. Well, <laughs> you just get lost. So we leave the ship. 
Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so now we look like this. Which, wait a minute, we look like that seven foot chicken, don't we? Like the devil chicken. The devil chicken. I've heard of devil eggs, but this is ridiculous. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, so who would we want to go visit disguised as the devil chicken? Pretty much everybody. You're yeah, right. the list is pretty long. We can go and visit <laughs> these guys. First, that lemonade kid. That kid, I think, is not here anymore because we scared him off when we stole his. Right, yeah. Uh, lemonade. Give Given up his entrepreneurial dream. So I guess we have to. No, guess we have to talk to the. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess it's chicken guy, right? I'm trying to remember if there's anyone else we can talk to. I think if you if we hadn't gotten rid of the cabana boy, he would react to us as well. But uh, this guy doesn't care. Oh, I do remember someone else we can. That's probably dead. El Pollo Diablo. Our friend Murray. One of my demonic brethren, come to set me free. Ooh, set him free. Come, release me, so that I might run free alongside you as we terrorize the mortals of this island. I'm out of here. Wait. <laughs> you can't leave. even go in. <laughs> um. But yes, we want to go visit. This is actually faster. Let's scroll the screen over. Here we go. You have a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Fashy lavash. What? That's right. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Ugh, this chicken grease washed off all the feathers. Whoops, I've been too quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I. Oh, now you've been. Now he's been delivered. Mm -hmm. Remember, he didn't have time to cook the chicken. Well, I, right. I just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. You're an overachiever. <laughs> Captain LeChimp. Captain LeChimp. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? Well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Oh, yeah, right, Captain. An idiot. Oh, that's a terrible joke. Mm-hmm. Fossey. <laughs> well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. Uh. Hello. 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 Hi. I just lost all sound. Including oh. us. Can you hear us? I'm going to guess I that's guess a no. That's a no. <laughs> I can still hear all the sound. Well, how about this? Let's... <laughs> Considering that we're, we're at a pretty good point here, we might as well... Um, Call it a save. We'll drop a little save here. And Done. Uh, and we'll uh, come back to this next time. All uh, right.
And so from all of us, including Hazardous Matthew, who we cannot hear anymore. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What? All right, well, <laughs> we'll talk to yes. you later, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>